Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Salesforce Lightning Flows. In today's video, we'll discuss how we can create an auto launch flows and how we can call an auto launch flow from process builder. Okay. Now also we'll see how we can pass parameters from process builder to flows, right? So uh, we have created a problem statement and so when a customer priority field, this is a custom field, I've created an account object. So whenever this customer priority field and account object is updated, update the priority field of all related cases to this account having a status as new with the same value. Okay. So the value which we have updated in the customer priority should go into the priority of related cases. Okay. So uh, first of all, we'll go to our Salesforce org and create a flow so that we can accept parameters from process builder, right? So I will go to setup. And uh, I can show you this is my uh, account object and here I have created a customer priority field, right? And uh, if you want to see it is having three values. high medium and low okay and similarly we have a priority field on case also where we'll be updating these values okay so i'll go to setup search for flows we'll click on new flows it will take us to flow builder and here we'll select this auto launch flow. So launches when invoked by Apex processes, REST API and uh, other things, right? So we have uh, to select this auto launch flow and we'll click on next and we'll select free form. Okay. Now uh, for this flow to accept parameters from process builder, we need to create variables, right? So I'll go into manager and click on new resource and uh, first resource will be variable and it should be account id okay so the account which is updated its id should be passed from process builder to this flow right so i'll specify account id description as value from process builder and data type would be text we don't have to allow multiple values right now and I will specify over here as available for input. Next, we need to create one more variable which will be storing the priority of account. Okay, so account priority. We'll select data type as text and we'll select available for input and click on done. So we have created these two variables. Now we'll just click on save. We'll name it as update related case on account update. Okay. And we we'll click on save. We are facing one. Okay. So the flow can't run because nothing is connected to start element. Right. So for now, what we'll do, we'll just use this get record and this get record will do uh, what we, what it will do. It will just fetch the case uh, records related to the account ID. Okay, so it will be fetch case records. object would be case and remember the condition what we have set uh, mentioned over there so condition is that case should have status as new right so we'll specify a status here as a filter con condition for case record status equals to new okay and how many records to store? So all records. 
and we'll select the third option choose fields and assign variables now uh, whatever case records are there which are fetched using this uh, will be storing into some variable so we'll create a new resource here and resource type would be variable we'll specify a case record list and for data type it should be record we'll specify allow multiple values so it will become a collection and we'll specify case object okay so we'll specify done now uh, what are the fields which need to be stored so here we'll specify as priority field right and we'll click on done okay so we have created a get records which will fetch the related record records of accounts and uh, those records which are having status as new right now we can connect this and we'll save our flow okay so we have created a flow to accept the account id and fetch all related case records having status as new now we'll go to process builders and create a process builder We'll click on new process builder we'll specify update account priority okay and when record changes our process builder should start we'll click on save We'll select object so object should be account and it should be when a record is created or edited okay save this next we have to specify the criteria so criteria should be whenever customer priority is updated right so we'll specify priority updated as name for criteria conditions are met and we'll select field customer priority is null as false so that's our null check we'll specify customer priority is changed and true okay so if both of these conditions are met we'll be firing our actions okay so now we need to call flow from this process builder right so what should be our action so it should be flows right now uh, let's see if we can find our flows okay so i have created my flow right but uh, I have not activated this flow up till now. So what is the name of my flow? Update related case record. So can I find this? No, I cannot find this, right? So for this, I need to activate my flow. So I have to click on activate. Now my flow has been activated. And then I need to refresh this. So I'll go to view processes, refresh this. click on my process builder i'll go to actions i'll select flows and here we can see our flow now right so i'll select this flow name should be calling auto launch flow now uh, you can specify the variables which you need to pass into the flows right so i'll add row and i'll specify account id and the value should be
uh, we should uh, use field reference over here and we should use ID of account okay next we'll add one more row and here we'll specify account priority this is the flow variables variables which we have created in flow right and here we'll specify field reference and we'll specify customer priority okay i'll just click on save so that we can activate our process builder we'll confirm our process builder has been activated so whenever a priority field of account will be updated what it will do it will check the uh, criteria over here if criteria are met then it will call this action and this whenever this action is executed it will call this flow and pass these variables to this Salesforce lightning flow okay and in flows we have created two variables to receive those parameters and also we have created get record uh, where we are fetching all the case uh, records whose status equals to new so in next video we'll be adding one more condition over here and then we'll be updating this case records uh, we'll be updating the priority field of all these case records okay so thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you